let's now take a look at a demo of Microsoft and Isera's AI Copilot. We will cover three use cases. In the first use case, our focus will be the IT domain leveraging Isera's IT-specific large language models. In this use case, we will highlight the following. Integration with Microsoft Teams, where the users collaborate, and it becoming the system of engagement. We will then demonstrate the ability to understand the intents from an ambiguous question and have human-like conversations to fulfill the request without the need for human intervention. Taking it a step further, we will then showcase Isera's integration with Microsoft Intune Endpoint Manager to assess laptop issues and recommendation of a solution to resolve the issues. Let's begin. Here, the user Rod Welsh begins by asking an ambiguous question around his laptop having issues. The AI Copilot then quickly understands the intent of the question and offers commonly found issues with laptop in Acme Corporation. This demonstrates the ability for the understanding of ambiguous questions and the ability to now recommend problem areas based on what the Copilot has learned in Acme Corporation from other users. But Rod Welsh has a different issue and starts to specify more details that his computer is running slow. The AI Copilot quickly recognizes Rod from his profile based on his credential in Active Directory and learns that he is using a Windows PC. It then asks for a confirmation of his laptop. The AI Copilot then analyzes his laptop using Microsoft Intune in the background and lets him know the various applications running on it. Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Chrome, Citrix Workplace, Microsoft Outlook. Isera then advises on the applications consuming the most CPU, in this case, Citrix Workspace and Outlook, and recommends terminating both applications. However, Rod decides to terminate Outlook. The AI Copilot then terminates Microsoft Outlook and checks again on the health of Rod Welch's computer. This time it recognizes that the CPU usage has gone down by 35% and asks Rod if the issue has been resolved. Rod then confirms the issue has been resolved. As you can see from this use case, the AI Copilot was able to not only converse in a human-like fashion with Rod, but also fulfill his request without the need for a human agent. It understood the intent of an ambiguous question, provided recommendations from what it has learned from other users that are likely to be the causes of the problem, and then leverages its integrations like Microsoft Intune to remedy the issue. Now let's look at use case number two. This use case also focuses on the IT domain and helps Rod Welsh, a manager at Acme Corporation, to onboard a new employee. We will build on top of the capabilities already demonstrated for the Copilot, and in this use case, we will demonstrate additional capabilities like proactive notifications for a pending task. Let's begin from where we left off. Now, the AI Copilot notifies Rod Welsh that he has to onboard a new employee, Mark Smith. So Rod starts the onboarding process. To begin the process, the AI Copilot asks Rod to select a buddy for Mark and offers a drop-down menu of people that are the likely choices for Mark based on the organization he will be joining. Rod selects Georgette Kramer and moves to the next step. The AI Copilot then asks Rod if he would like to kick off the standard or custom onboarding process while displaying what the standard process recommends. The standard process assigns a few training programs like Acme Product Overview, Sales Enablement, Sales Process at Acme Corporation, and Company Onboarding Programs. It creates an email, an Okta profile, an Azure account, and offers to provision access to SaaS applications like Salesforce.com, OpenVPN, and Outreach. It also adds him to the distribution lists that he is likely to join based on Mark's profile in the organization and highlights the standard computer available. However, Rod decides to go with the custom onboarding process instead. The AI Copilot now gives him the option to modify his email address, Azure account name, home shipping address, and the ability to modify the laptop type. But Rod leaves the selection unchanged and continues. 
The AI Copilot then asks Rod which applications he would like to provision that includes the standard onboarding options of OpenVPN and a few new ones like Asana, SAP, ServiceNow, and Trello. Mark selects all. The AI Copilot now gives Rod more options for distribution lists and Rod selects Sales US West and All Company. Finally, the Copilot summarizes all the selections made by Rod Welsh for Mark Smith and asks to proceed further. Mark clicks yes and the AI Copilot then completes all individual tasks and confirms with Rod that they have all been done. It also generates an email to Mark Smith with day one instructions and CCs Rod Welsh. This is the classic use case where a manager is expecting a new employee and based on the records of employment through the integration of any HR system, the AI Copilot proactively notifies the manager of kicking off the onboarding process and also recommends options based on the new user's profile for the manager to make the right selections. Now let's take a look at use case number three. Again, we will build on top of the capabilities already demonstrated for the Copilot in use case number one and number two. Here, we will demonstrate additional capabilities like understanding multi-intent questions, context switching, the ability to remember conversation history, and the fulfillment of all tasks from external approved websites like Microsoft support pages and internal knowledge sources. Let's begin with where we left off. Rod starts with a very long question and the AI Copilot quickly understands this question. The AI Copilot then confirms with Rod the three intents it detected and let him know that they will be addressed one at a time. The detected intents were inviting external users to Microsoft Teams, searching people in Microsoft Teams, and creating group chats with coworkers. Rod selects inviting external users to Microsoft Teams, and the AI Copilot then quickly pulls up a resolution summary with a link to Microsoft's support page for more information. It then asks Rod if that helped, and Rod hits yes. The AI Copilot now remembers that it still had two more tasks or intents to be completed. So it then asks Rod for which issue he would like to solve next. Instead, this time, Rod digresses from his original question and asks another question with a different intent. He asks for information on updating the name of a private Teams channel that was owned by a previous employee. To respond, the AI Copilot then once again serves him with a response summary from the Microsoft support webpage and asks if that resolved the issue. Instead of hitting yes or no, Mark digresses once again and asks how to connect his phone to Wi-Fi. Note that campus here is misspelled, but the AI Copilot is still able to understand that he needs to connect to the company's Wi-Fi. So the AI Copilot provides a resolution summary, but this time it is from Acme's internal knowledge source of ServiceNow. The AI Copilot then asks Rod if it helped, and he responds by saying yes. Upon saying yes, the ISIR Copilot reminds him of the two unfulfilled tasks that were still pending, and if he would like to complete those. This concludes the three use cases we wanted to highlight for Microsoft and ISIR's AI Copilot. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our website, www.icera.com.